Hello, I'm Erin Halverson and welcome to Rag Rugs by Erin. We're going to be making the runner rag rug of many colors and this is a very simple rug um, and it's just using scraps of pieces of material that are left over from my other sheet projects and it takes a while because I'm just using it in different colors. Of course you could use a pattern and do it uh, all one color or a few different colors if you wanted to. I'm just going for a little different look this time but I'm going to show you this easy pattern that you can use over and over and it can be made any length. Here I'm going to be doing it with 40 but uh, you're going to be able to see um, you can do it at 60, you can do it at 25, whatever works for you. Let me show you one other thing. This is the Plarn rug, which is plastic yarn. This is made with bread and bagel bags. Um, I just filmed this one. So, uh, bread and bagel bag rag rug. And if you want to see that, it's the same pattern uh, as this, but it's done with um, Plarn, which is plastic yarn. And I also show you how to do that as well. So, let's go ahead and get started and jump right in. Let's talk about our tools. Same tools we always have if you uh, join me many times. I'm sorry to go over this again, but if this is your first time, I want you to have the information. So you use a good sharp pair of scissors. Um, this is an N or a 10 millimeter crochet hook, and you're going to need a tapestry needle, which has a large hole in it, and it has a very dull edge. Please don't use a plastic one, because uh, the, they tend to come apart on me. Um, maybe I'm just a little tough. So let's go ahead and get started and put these items, these other two items to the side and get, jump right in. We're going to be using, this is sheet yarn. Sheet yarn is made from sheets. Um, I have uh, three videos on showing how to make sheet yarn so you can view those videos and get your own sheet yarn started so you can make your own rag rug as well. So uh, Mr. Cameraman, if you come around the side here and we'll go ahead and get started. We're going to start with a slip knot. I take the long end and I cross it over like this and then I slide it through like that. Make sure you leave it long enough for a tail. And don't over tighten this when you're making your first initial stitches. Okay, so we're going to do a chain stitch. Chain stitch very basic and easy. We'll try to do a couple slow stitches and then I'll speed right along. After you put your needle in here, make sure you have the shorter end coming down this way um, and being held in your hand. You're going to cross over with your sheet yarn and pull it through. One chain stitch. Cross over and pull it through. Two. Cross over and pull it through. Three. Cross over and pull it through. I'm going to speed it up. Being careful not to get it too tight. This is some really pretty material. I am going to use this material actually on, I'm working on an heirloom rug with a little different stitch. Um, it's taking some time to perfect and get it just right. Um, and I'll be sharing that with you on another video, maybe a month or two from now. So subscribe if you like to see that one. Um, remember, I also have square rugs and oval rugs, uh, circle rugs. I have all different types of rugs. I have helpful videos that teach you how to uh, go around the corners and keeping it flat and smooth, how to choose the right materials, how to launder. I have all kinds of videos on my YouTube site, all dedicated to rag rug making. Okay, so I'll do a couple more. I don't think that's quite 40, but we'll call it 40 so we can move on to the next step. All right, so here we have done our chain stitches. You're going to flip your material and you always move from right to left. So after you flip your material, you're not going to go into the hole that you were in, right here. You're going to go into the next hole, which is right there. You're going to put your hook into that hole, cross over, and pull the material through. This is a single crochet. One, two. You're going to let me loosen up some more material here. You're going to cross over and pull it through both. Okay. 
This is why I usually use my other finger when you're using sheet yarn. Huh. I've done something wrong, it appears. So let me see what I've done wrong. Let's try again. It's not moving. Okay. Back up. This is good for you to see this, actually, because this is the reality. <laughs> okay? Sometimes it happens. There we go. Start again. Here's where you're coming out of. You're not going to go into that hole. Here's the next hole right here. You're going to go into that hole, cross over. There you have both of them. Cross over and pull them both through. Okay, there's your first chain um, single crochet. Go to the next hole, go into it, grab your material. You have two on there, cross over and pull them both through. There's two single crochets on there. Go into the next hole, grab your material. You have two, cross over and pull them both through. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and now we're headed for the next row. I'm going to switch over. You can stay right here, Mr. Cameraman. I'm going to switch over to one that's farther along. Okay, we ended that one right in here. Okay, we had done our chain stitch. Um, actually, it's this way. We had done our chain stitch. We had gone up, gone to the second hole, and moved along. What we're going to do is now show you how to move up to the next row and all the rest of the rows will be done this way from one row to the next. You're going to go just like we were doing only farther along go into the next hole or stitch pull them both off. I'm going to finish this row up go in, grab your material pull them both off. Coming to the end go into the next stitch, see it's right there See that? Grab the material and pull them both off. Next stitch. <coughs> Please excuse me. We have one more stitch right here. Go into it. Grab your material, you have two, cross over and pull them both off. This is what you're going to do. After you've gone into the last stitch, you're going to do one chain stitch. Cross over, don't go into a hole, and just pull it off. Then you're going to flip your material, and again, working from right to left, and here's your next hole. Here's your first hole. You go into that hole, and do exactly what you were doing on the previous row. There's two on there. Cross over and pull them both off. Go into the, here's your next hole. It becomes more and more obvious the more rows you do, and pull it both off. Okay, you can see now you're forming your next row. We're going to do it one more time on this much bigger rug, so you can see how to finish the row and move up. That seems to be a little bit more challenging part of it. So let's go ahead and watch how we do that. Here's your hole. You see how now you can see the hole is much easier. Go into that hole, grab your material, cross over, pull them both off. Here's your next hole right there. And here's your last one. These the ends are always a little bit more challenging. See that hole there? That's where it is. Where you can see the tip of my finger. I'm gonna go in there grab your material and pull them both off. Okay, this is how we transition to go back up. I'm going to do one chain stitch, cross over and pull it, flip your material, it's just bigger now, and you're going to go in, this is how you, this is your first hole, right there. One more. Mr. Cameraman, how many minutes are we at? Okay, we're going to come back and we're going to um, finish this rag rug um, on part two of runner rag rug, um, runner rag rug of many colors. So come back for part two and we'll show you how to finish it if you don't know how. Thank you for joining me.